Hi. All right, I finally give in. I'm going to do a video on this 5G BioShield thing. This is by far the most number of requests I've ever had for a video. Probably because uh, they've been advertising this thing. I heard from you know a viewer that, oh, my grandmother got advertised this on Facebook or something like that. So they're obviously like spam in the interwebs with this thing. 5G BioShield, it'll protect you from 5G. All right, let's do it. Spoiler alert, it's a scam. A 100% grade A scam that does absolutely nothing except part you from your money. And I'm not really doing this video for my audience because, well, any engineer knows this is a scam. In fact, if you have uh, somebody like a family member or a friend or something, then get them to ask your friendly neighborhood engineer about whether or not this is a scam and complete BS or not. And I guarantee you, they'll tell you, yep, it is. Because it obviously is. So I'm really doing this video as something you can just share with everyone. When you see ads for these 5G protection things, which are all the rage at the moment, and you've got idiots at the moment burning down 5G towers because they've got absolutely no clue whatsoever about how electromagnetic radiation works. They just hear it from a bunch of anti-vaxxers or whatever on the local Facebook group, and they think, oh yeah, I've got to protect myself from 5G. Ooh. Let's get into it. The 5G BioShield, it looks like it's from uh, the UK because they sell in UK pounds and it's this USB stick. Look at this thing. Oh, it's magical. Got like a horse wrestling a serpent thing. Kind of looks like a crocodile serpent, croco serpent or something and some big Roman warrior stabbing the thing and it's got some whiz bang little dot on the thing and it's a USB stick. You stick it in to the USB port on your computer and it gives you, look at this, look, look, this magic shield around you that protects you from the 5G woo woo. It protects your entire house. The 5G BioShield USB key with the nano layer is a quantum holographic catalyzer technology for the balance and harmonization of the harmful effects of imbalanced electric radiation. The 5G BioShield USB key is resulting from research of several decades in multiple countries. The active key operating diameter shields and harmonizes a complete family home. <laughs> Bullshit! And it's yours for the low price of only 283 pounds. It was 300, so it's an absolute bargain. Or you can buy three for $795. Now 283 pounds, that's about 350 Yankee bucks. So it's a proprietary holographic nano layer catalyst technology, remediation from all harmful radiation, electro smog, and biohazard pollution. Wow. And they're the first to market with full spectrum protection over the full spectrum. Get out your wank word bingo cards. Quantum oscillation. Through a process of quantum oscillation, the 5G BioShield USB key balances and reharmonizes the disturbing frequencies arising from the electric fog induced by devices such as laptops, cordless phones, Wi Fi, tablets, etc. Oh, my microphone's just. Oh, it's emitting all this electro smog, my camera, my monitor. Restoring coherence of atoms, the 5G BioShield USB key restores the coherence of the geometry of the atoms. Wow. This is heavy, which allows the perfect induction for life forces by re-creating a cardiac coherence via plasmic support and interactivity. Okay. Sure, Jan. And it emits life force frequencies. Wow, I wonder if your local EMC test lab can test for that. Wow, there's a huge niche market there. The 5G BioShield USB key emits a large number of life force frequencies favoring a general revitalization of the body, adjusting them according to the absorption capacity of each respective individual. It's tailored to you. The magic chi woo woo just, it's magic. 5G BioShield, the most advanced full spectrum quantum nano lana shield technology is now available to the public. An impenetrable shielding and harmonization of your home and family from all harmful imbalanced electric radiation, including 2G, 3G, 4G, Wi Fi. What about TV signals, radio frequencies, uh, car radar um, systems, and all sorts of like everything else? Like, oh, nah, that's all people care about.
And oh yes, we'll get into the person behind this. Stick around. <laughs> Scientific research. It must be true. It's got this great infographic. Oh god, no. It's just, no. Right, I'll just link it down below. And there's nothing new about this scam. It's everywhere. Just go on like, I just search eBay for like 5G blocker or something like 5G oh, blocker bracelet programmed on our accelerator frequency generator 5G RF. Our technology supports the theory that by stimulating the body's ability to heal itself naturally using subtle biofrequency, oh, but we're back to the 1970s biorhythms. I knew they'd come back. From the energy bracelet, your body will maintain better health and mental wellness. Wow. With embedded energy elements, far infrared ray, g'day ray, neodymium magnet, and three germanium spears. Wow. It's going to have really low voltage drop as you use it as a rectifier. That's pretty handy. Sorry for those who aren't familiar with my channel, that's just an electronics joke. The BioZen EMF Blocker, Organite. Oh, you can go go Google Organite. Electrosmog, 5G, hypersensitivity. BioZen, scientific and medically proven. A1, world-class medical device. Ah, oh, simple radiation bounce, highly scientifically engineered, really. Uh, hereditary problematics of bodily magnetic dysfunction result in tumors. <laughs> It's not a tumor. It might be a tumor. It's not a tumor. Look at this men's military camo hat with Titan RF uh, Wi-Fi 5G brain, brain blocker fabric. Oh, I've got to get myself one of those. Just use alfoil. Works a treat. Or tin foil for you yanks. It's alfoil here. Three, shungite foam plate, circular flower EMF protection wankery. Oh, look at all this. It, it, it cleans biofield, keeps you healthy. It's and harmonizes nanotechnology created by nature because it's part of the Zaghoskinsky deposit. Yes, that's a real thing. You, yes, it's a real mine where they mine this material, which is supposed to have magical woo-woo properties and stuff like that. And as always, they, you know, throw in these things. So if you go do Google that, you go, oh, geez, that's real. Oh, it's mine comes from Albania or wherever it is and oh, just stick the plate on your phone and she'll be right no worries here's another USB one 5g blocker radiation scrambler home protection wow look at this universal scrambling beacon once you receive this home protection simply plug it into your laptop or desktop computer start the program which will begin the 5g blocking process once it is complete you'll be notified that 5g is being blocked spoiler alert it's a USB stick with a program on it that simply uh, has like a random timer on it and waits for a minute or something and then it just displays 5G blocked on the screen. That's it. How do I know this? Well, the first uh, thing you do when you're trying to uh, debunk stuff like this, this looks like a pretty standard USB stick. So what you do is you right click on it, you save the image and then you go do a Google image search. A reverse image search, you can do this with uh, TinEye uh, as well, which is a tool. But Google, if you go to Google Images, it's actually got this upload button here, which allows you to upload an image. And sure enough, oh, wow, USB flash drives at my local office works. I can just go to my local office works store and buy these, but they're MTech branded. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, it's a 16 gig USB stick. You do not need any engineering knowledge at all to know these are a complete and utter scam. If you go to AliExpress and type in 5G blocker, ah, oh, look at all these things. Anti-radiation shield. Wow, just whack it on the back of your phone. Look at this, these magic woo-woo stickers. Place it on your microwave, your fridge, <laughs> your TV. Six pieces you get for your five bucks delivered from China. Protect you and your friend from EMF radiation. She doesn't look happy. Skeptic, right, they're going, yeah. Yeah, I can smell it, it's bullshit. Yeah. How does it work? It doesn't. They're a 100% grade A scam. I would push my bullshit button, but I can't find it. The lab's a mess. I'm sorry, boy. The lab is an awful, 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 awful mess. Obviously, the time continuum has been disrupted, creating this new temporal event sequence resulting in this alternate reality. So anyway, back to the 5G BioShield. How do we know this one's a scam too? Now look at it, it's got some crystal thing on here. So I, the first thing I do maybe is just go over to AliExpress and type in crystal USB key. Oh, it's just a USB key with a crystal embedded in the end of it. Look familiar? Gee, I didn't know that Kia made uh, 5G blockers. 
Now, do you think that it really has all this wonderful woo-woo technology or some scammer has simply ordered a bunch of these from a manufacturer in China with their customized Dragon Slayer logo on it? Yeah. Now, of course, I'm not going to spend 350 Yankee bucks on these scammers so I can get one of these so I can do a teardown. Thankfully, though, somebody has already done this for us. Thank you very much, Pen Test Partners, Penetration Testing Security Services. Give them a call if you need <laughs> security services. Good on you. Good public service here. The BioShield, 300 uh, pounds for a sticker on a USB key? Question mark. Yeah, that's what you're paying for. And of course, this all came about because six months ago, the UK Glastonbury Town Council set up a 5G advisory committee to explore the safety of 5G technology because they're installing 5G towers. Safe, by the way. And last month, the local paper reported their findings. I could not download this PDF. In their statement, they actually recommended this 5G BioShield. We use this device and find it helpful. Government, like this advisory committee for some council in the UK is a like recommending this thing essentially so they say we're aware of people playing around with shungite that's that mine i was telling you about or setting up a ring of emf shields to achieve this but we've never seen somebody saying it can be done with a usb stick oh look at this velvety pouch oh purple too they think it's probably made by shenzhen tushi technology co can't find anything for shenzhen tushi i searched uh, alibaba aliexpress so i don't know what the deal is there Oh, look, it looks to be George and the Dragon from the reverse of a medal made by William Wyon for Prince Albert in 1945. <laughs> and they link to online retailers as well. Yep, there you go. You just buy it from, they will uh, engrave it for you. <laughs> it's, it's clearly a scam. <laughs> and of course, like any engineer knows that this is not going to work. But even if you don't have any engineering knowledge at all, you know it's a scam simply by, you know, reading somebody like this, watching a video like this, and just doing some rudimentary, um, you know, Google searching yourself. You can find that, oh, it's just a USB stick. So yeah, there's another one down here, except this one has a magic woo-woo dot on it. <laughs> That's where all the quantum nano technology is. <laughs> when plugged into our test machine, we may have missed the bubble of quantum holographic catalyzer technology appearing. <laughs> the stick, imagine plug it in and just wait, go in. Let's get ready. Switch me on. Or from Ocean's Eleven when they're setting off the EMP generator. But here's where you get the bonus. The stick comes loaded with a 25-page PDF version of the material on the 5G BioShields website. It included a Q&A of distances for the bubble and how to know if it's working. It's an always-on system. Apparently, it's always working, powered or not. <laughs> so, why would you even want to plug it into your USB port? So no visual checks needed. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, look, I would rather buy one of these, at least as some scammer went to the effort of writing a fake program that uh, you run it and it just waits a random time and then just flashes like a, you know, you are now 5G protected. A review of the stick's properties revealed nothing more than what you'd expect from a regular 128 meg USB <laughs> key. But once again, 5G BioShield came to the rescue with an explanation. <laughs> what is it used for? This is a real USB key. It protects and it informs at the same time. <laughs> you will find a master file explaining the basics of this technology and you can load other informative files as well as you, if you wish. <laughs> we'll get to his website. Wait. First, we managed to pull the device off the crystal, which shows nothing other than lead at the end. It's the same as the other crystal USB keys that are made in Shenzhen. No additional components or other connections. The circular area of the main casing looks like it might be where the quantum holographic catalyzer technology transmitter might be. <laughs> Carefully taking that off, not to damage the key components, and with crushing disappointment, it looked exactly like a regular sticker. Wah, 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 wah. Digging further into the device, it appeared to be no, uh, there be no electrical or other connections between the device and the sticker, and also no additional components. It's a USB key from Shenzhen, custom engraved with a sticker in a nice purple pouch for uh, three hundred and fifty US dollars. 
We do not believe this product should be promoted by public funded bodies until a full independent peer review scientific study has been undertaken on its effectiveness. No, I don't even think we should do that. It's an absolute waste of time. It is a clear cut scam. Every engineer on the planet will tell you this is a flat out scam. We've got very strict uh, laws here in Australia, for example, about uh, you know scam products like this. This would be immediately removed and banned from import and uh, blocked here if our uh, ACCC investigated this one. Yes, this is a flat out scam and the authorities need in the UK, because you can't do it anywhere else in the UK, need to do something about this. All right, so let's take a quick look at who's behind this, shall we? There's a team down here. I haven't looked into Jacques Boer. I don't care. This is the one we want to look at. Dr. Ilja Lakshivik. A resident professor has dedicated his life to discover self and true concepts and laws of creation. Uh oh. He worked at institutions as reputable as the Max Planck Institute for Plasma Physics. He probably did. That doesn't mean he's, a, he's not a creationist nut job. At the end of 2000, he left all organized and structured institutions and organizations and began his own independent research. After 10 years, he discovered the truth about the human being and true universal concepts and laws of creation, unknown and unpublished until recently by himself in International Journal of Science and Research, October issue. And this is actually a real thing. Yes, he did get it published. The International Journal of Science and Research. Most trusted research journal since the year 2012. Oh, wow. Color me impressed. Anyway, if you don't know, there's tons of these. I get these emails all the time from these type of institutes or whatever asking me to submit a paper and they'll publish just any woo-woo. And sure enough, if you actually uh, go into the uh, twenty, the October 2019 issue, and we search for our good mate down here, and Aton True Cell Atom and Particle Concept um, Research Paper, Physics Science in Serbia, and look at all this stuff that they but they'll just publish anything. This is where if you're a whack job or you're doing some out there research and you can't get it published in a real journal, this is where you go. So then you can put it on your website as, yeah, I'm published in this journal. And I look, I won't, I'll link it in down below. You can go read this bullshit for yourself. Anyway, he's got a website. <clears throat> Dr. Elijah, I still can't pronounce it, sorry. I am God. He's God. <laughs> Anyway, a simple Google search brings you up that. If you invest in 350 bucks in this 5G BioShield woo-woo thing, just do a simple Google search for, you know, the, the people behind this. They usually uh, like put their faces, but like on Kickstarters and a Google search brings you to like, I am God, like, you know. Now I really do need to do a separate video on this, but I, I don't know whether I'm gonna bother because people just don't, listen, but I, I don't know if I can get the energy up, but I'll go over like a couple of simple basic things here. 5G include and or RF that's totally surround you is what's called non-ionizing radiation. And this is, oh, just read straight from Wikipedia. Sorry for you who hate Wikipedia at first, but it's right. Non-ionizing radiation refers to any type of electromagnetic radiation that does not carry enough energy per quantum uh, to ionize atoms or molecules, i.e. in your body when it penetrate you. That is to completely remove an electron from an atom or molecule instead of producing charged ions when passing through matter, non-ionizing electromagnetic radiation has sufficient energy only for excitation. Excitation meaning it can vibrate. That's how your microwave oven works. 2.4 gigahertz, uh, really high power. 2.4 gigahertz uh, vibrates the molecules inside, uh, the water molecules, and the friction of the water molecules is what heats up your food internally. And electromagnetic radiation can do exactly the same thing. That's why the microwave oven has a grill on the front, which is shorter than the wavelength of the uh, 2.4 gigahertz frequency. So it can't escape and then start penetrating your body because there's kilowatts worth of 2.4 gig energy there. And trust me, if you stick your head in the microwave, you're going to have a bad day. 
So all they can do is excitation, the movement of an electron to a higher energy state. In contrast, ionizing radiation has a higher frequency, shorter wavelength, and can be a serious health hazard. Exposure to it can cause burns, radiation sickness, cancer, and genetic damage. Using ionizing radiation requires elaborate radiological protection measures, which generally are not required with non-ionizing radiation, because non-ionizing radiation requires huge amounts of power to do any like serious biological damage to you heating up your tissue you have to have, i don't have my shoe phone here but if yeah if you hold your shoe phone up which transmits at like what you know a watt or something like that two watts peak or or something like that if you strap it to your head 24 7 and have it transmitting yeah you might eventually get a brain tumor because you've had it there 24 7 365 pumping two watts like millimeters away from your skin and yes it's going to heat up your skin and your brain tissue and stuff like that and it could eventually cause a tumor but using your phone for like you know <laughs> like 10 minutes here and there a couple of times a day is not going to do anything Anyway, the difference between ionizing radiation and non-ionizing radiation, I could get a better example uh, of the electromagnetic spectrum. But anyway, it has to do with uh, it has to do with the frequency. They've got a table down here, and here it is. Now, uh, uh, ionizing radiation is things like uh, UV radiation from the sun, for example. That's why you get skin cancer because you're getting ionizing radiation. So there it is up there, right at 750 terahertz. That's 750,000 gigahertz. So yes, UVA radiation from the sun. <laughs> Use your sunscreen, it'll block it. <laughs> Unlike these 5G radiations, which don't block anything. <laughs> Anyway, then it goes down in frequency to visible light. So a lot of this 5G stuff is, oh, because 5G is higher frequency, it's more dangerous. No, it's still non-ionizing radiation. You're still, you're getting bombarded when you go out on the street, when you drive your car, you're being bombarded with uh, radar sensors from cars that operate in, I think they're like 70 gigahertz or something like that. They're like much higher than 5G radiation. Nobody complains about, nobody, oh, I'm getting sick because the car's driving by because I'm being irradiated by these uh, focused uh, radar beams at, you know, 70 gigahertz. No, it's all paranoia. It's all up here with 5G radiation. It's non-ionizing radiation. And 5G can actually be lower power levels, reception levels, like on your skin, than uh, traditional 4G, 3G, 2G television uh, transmitters. Yeah, kilowatts. I've, done, I've been to a television station. I've done a teardown. I have to link the video in and see how many kilowatts that they're pumping out. And <laughs> these levels, you're being bombarded for your entire life. Doesn't matter how old you are, for your entire life, you have been bombarded with electromagnetic radiation that's as high or higher power levels than 5G. And it hasn't been a problem for you, unless you're one of these ones who has a problem up here and you're so neurotic that you think, oh, I'm electrosensitive and this electrosmog is caused, oh, I have to go in the middle of the outback and things like that. Like you get stories about how people claim to be oh electro sensitive because their mobile phone so they take away their mobile phone and they feel much better uh, unbeknownst to them that their uh, wi-fi is actually transmitting five gigahertz um <laughs> band like it's been doing it all the time and they're, they're, no it's all up here so yes, technically 5G and 4G and 3G and 2G and walkie-talkies and uh, TV transmitters and every other type of transmitter uh, out there can be a potential hazard. But that's why safety standards exist. And uh, organizations like the ICNIRP, the International Commission on Non-Ionizing Radiation Protection, they have standards for these things. And uh, go, I'll link in the website, go down, they've got uh, publications and they've got all sorts of things which uh, tells you all about the safety measures put in place uh, for 5G and 4G and 3G. They've uh, just recently revised the standards uh, to include 5G, even though technically, uh, 5G uh, safety was already included in the existing standards which covered up to 4G. They just sort of add some more clarification stuff in there for 5Gs. But basically, unless you're a worker on the tower and you're sticking your head right up to the transmitter when it's transmitting and you do that all day, every day, 
it's not going to be a problem. As I said, the actual reception levels from 5G on your skin, people don't realize the minute power levels, receiver power levels that you actually get uh, from 5G. It's potentially like lower than 4G and 3G and 2G that no one was really that concerned about before. But you know, 5G comes along and because a bunch of you know nut jobs on uh, Facebook start sharing stuff and people all start panicking, they think it's different. It's not. 5G is absolutely no different to 3G, even though it has uh, beam forming that steers the beam. This allows actually lower transmit levels because it can actually do the beam finding. And no, 5G does not cause COVID-19. So they've got a specific page here on 5G and I recommend that you actually go down and read it. Anyway, this is one of the uh, industry bodies that handles uh, non-ionizing radiation safety in terms of transmit power levels and how far and how tall the mast must be because, you know, assuming that you stand under it or live under it 24-7, uh, then those people actually have safe amounts of non-ionizing radiation. Remember, it's non-ionizing. It's only going to at worst, all it's going to do is excite or heat up uh, your body. You're, you know, a two watt mobile phone transmitting right against your head. You don't feel it. The heat you might actually feel actually comes from the uh, the heat of the electronics components in there, actually, because, you know, they get hot, just like your computer processor gets hot. That's what you're feeling. It's not the, it's not the 4G or 5G radiation coming from the phone that's heating you up. So anyway, getting back to this bullshit here and how it can create a shield around you like this. Oh, it transmits. Even if this thing did transmit, let's say it transmitted on the same frequencies as 5G or some other magical woo-woo frequency, okay? This is not how electromagnetic radiation works. It can't put a bubble around you like this. Even if you pumped out kilowatts worth of, right, thousands and thousands of watts worth uh, equivalent to like a cell tower, like right there, just radiating out some woo-woo frequency that's supposed to protect you, A, it's not actually going to stop any other uh, frequencies in electromagnetic radiation getting in. And yes, they can actually jam these frequencies. It's not because they're putting some uh, shielding bubble around, it's because they're pumping out so much power that it actually swamps the receivers. It doesn't actually stop any electromagnetic radiation coming in. It's no magic bubble. There's no such thing. Scientific and engineering impossibility to have this bubble like this. The only way to protect yourself is with a Faraday cage. And I highly recommend that you go to your local hardware store, uh, our one is Bunnings here, and you buy some aluminium insect fly screen and wrap your entire body with it, including like maybe some alfoil around your head, and then you'll be sweet. That's the only way you can stop electromagnetic radiation actually <laughs> penetrating your body or getting on the surface of your skin. And by the way, 5G is such high frequency that it actually is easily absorbed by your skin. It's absorbed by windows and walls. That's why they need so many transmitters. It, it can't get through anything. The water molecules in the air, it's attenuated millions and millions of times, orders of magnitude before it even gets to you. So there's no way you can put out a magic shield like this, even if you transmit something. Electromagnetic radiation of all frequencies still gets in. As I said, the only way to protect yourself like this is by using a Faraday cage, which is a conductive, usually a metal uh, shield, basically. That and yes, it can have small holes in it. You know, usually smaller than a quarter of the wavelength of the frequencies that uh, you want to stop, and it completely shield yourself with that. But even then, they're not perfect. Try putting your mobile phone in a microwave oven. It'll still actually pick up when you're inside a metal lift. It'll still pick up because they're not absolutely perfect. And the funny thing is, when it comes to 5G, you already have a shield around you. It's called the air. There's water molecules in the air. They actually absorb 5G frequencies. The higher frequency you go, the more attenuation you get with just the water molecules around you. You don't need this science fiction bullshit. You already have it. It's free. Anyway, I've waffled on long enough. Sorry about that. I wanted to be more concise, but you know, this sort of stuff just gets me going. Yes, complete and utter demonstrable, obvious scam, the 5G BioShield. Please share this video with everyone who you think and tell them to stick through. At least I tell you it's a scam in the first minute or whatever. Uh, tell them to try and stick through the video. 
and hopefully they'll learn something. So if you like that video, please give me a big thumbs up. And as always, discuss down below or over in the EUV blog forum or check out my library channel, which is going gangbusters. Catch you next time. Thank <laughs> you.